Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the latest iteration of our video visitation series. It's a cold old day here in Kansas City. A little bit of snow fell last night and uh, I don't know. That brightens up some people and it kind of uh, scours up some other ones. I'm just glad it all mostly melted off already. <laughs> Has it mostly melted off already? On the streets, yes. Yeah. Well, that part's good for sure. I'm afraid I'm not a fan of it myself. I don't, I don't like it. But anyway, we got it. So these nice people, and they are nice people, are named Ricky Ritter. That's the lady here next to me. And the gentleman on her right is named John Rebelay. How long have you guys been in the parish? 22 years. 29 years. I'll be darned. So you're kind of new to the parish then. <laughs> Relatively speaking, for sure, yes. Well, it's nice that new parishioners like you would jump right on in with both feet because I believe these two people are the uh, CSDs for our next Christ Renews His Parish retreat. And uh, when is that retreat? That retreat is the last weekend in March, March 25th, 4th and 5th? 25th and 6th, I think. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Which one is it? 25th and 26th. The 25th and 26th. Mm -hmm. Saturday all day and the first part of Sunday. All right. And um, I know that there are some other things that you'd like to tell us about that retreat on March 25th and 26th. So please launch into what you'd like to say. Well, we would really like to warmly welcome all of you to join in on the next retreat. Um, there are very many people in the parish who have already done this, but equally, maybe even more people who never have. Um, it's a really wonderful experience for anyone, especially new parishioners who might not know a lot of people, or people like where I was at. I had my son had gone through the whole school, but then all the school parents, which was my main collection of acquaintances here had gotten into different ideas and that kind of thing and busy and so finding a new way to connect to the parish was really important to me and I have really benefited and I think all the women that I've worked with through this last year would say the same they feel very much that the process of coming together having other parishioners to pray with, learning about other people's lives, and uh, renewing your faith in a deeper way has really been beneficial. Yeah, very nice. Uh, <clears throat> what I would add, I think the key word is renewal. Uh, I went through this initially in 2014, and like Ricky, my, my kids were still in school here, and I had a lot of connection. I've recommitted recently uh, and I probably have gotten even more out of it uh, as I've led the team as CSD. So I, I, um, I think it's a, a way to renew my personal uh, commitment with Christ as well as my commitment to the community. The big news this time, and maybe we did it last time this way also, is you're not required to spend the night. A lot of people have said to me over the years that they really didn't like that piece. And partly because of COVID, we've let that go. And last year, when we did the retreat, we all went home and just encouraged everyone to stay in a spiritual mind and come back early the next morning, ready to come back to what we call in CHIRP, God's time. This is a time where you set your life aside and just give God a piece of your life. And it's, it's only a few hours, but it makes a huge difference in your life and in your spirituality. Um, so we'll start at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning, come back the next day at eight o'clock on Sunday morning, and we'll be done by two. So you don't even have to miss whatever your Sunday evening events are. 
Yes, and, and a couple of other things to note. We will have mass and we will have a reconciliation. Uh, so very key components of our renewal, both personally and as a community. <laughs> well, I'll ask some questions. Okay. How's that? Is that, is that all right? Perfect. I, it seems to me that um, one of the ways that we've sort of retooled this is to do the men's section and the women's section concurrently instead of on adjacent weekends. And uh, is, is that what's projected for yes. this March yes, too? And last Last year was the first time we did the men's and women's retreats on the same weekend, but we are not together. We're in separate spaces the majority of the time and only together for um, the church services. That's right. <laughs> uh, it really was wonderful, and one of the things that I wanted to mention was we had several couples who the man made the men's retreat and the woman made the women's retreat on the same weekend and that worked out very well for them because they both had similar experiences and were able to share part of it together. Um, we also have had mothers and daughters make this retreat together, sisters have made this retreat together, best friends. So if you have a friend and just grab your friend and both of you can sign up. Great. And as I understand it, now that the uh, kindergarten is no longer inhabiting the basement of uh, this building, um, the, the space that the women use for their presentation is kind of adjacent to the space the men use. Is that right? We're, we're trying to, to get everybody shoehorned in there. That's right. I, th I think the plan, uh, th we're, we're still working out the logistics of that, but yes, uh, Generally speaking, the women will be in the kind of common area of Thai Hall and the men will be in the kindergarten rooms. At least that's the plan for now. And does that seem strangely suitable to you? It does. I think, I think Ricky mentioned earlier last year when we did this, we were in separate locations, but we came together for the, for the mass uh, and for the reconciliation. And oh. um, it, it worked out well, and I, I believe that that is... For me, it was a real sense of community. I, I, I meant the part about the men being in the kindergarten rooms. <laughs> I think we're excited about it. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> um, well, okay, good. I, I, I uh, from my particular point of view, which is a particular point of view, I admit, um, like uh, the new arrangements, um, they are much more sensible, again, from my particular point of view. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know, I, because I never spent the night, I don't know what we're losing by that, not doing that, but I don't think we're losing that much. Just the sleepover effect. What Girls are, like sleepovers. They do? Until a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> I think the general consensus from the men's team is that uh, the not sleeping over is a very good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. Girls like sleepovers. What is the age that they stop liking <laughs> sleepovers? I think it's different for every woman. Different for every woman. <laughs> and what is it that girls like about sleepovers? Community. Oh, it's a community builder. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. And this probably isn't so true for men. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Is this because men are not interested in community or their community? Men are interested in community in a different way. And sleepover is probably not at the top of the list. I see. <laughs> And what is the way men are interested in community? Oh, uh, uh, sports, I guess, that uh, comes oh, to mind, maybe. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Well, all right. A and a regular Thursday night chirp meeting. I see, okay. <laughs> and yeah. food. And food, oh yeah, food, I suppose that would do it. 
Well, I'm just trying to learn, you know. Um, all my life, I've kind of lived on the periphery of, of uh, the human experience. And so I'm, I'm just trying to learn and, and understand. So, But in the way of chirp, um, you know, a parish is like a great big house. And um, we become rather uh, comfortable and accustomed to certain rooms. We don't really get around to the other parts of the house and discover what's in there. And so a lot of the experience of the place is lost on us. Christ Renews' parish is unparalleled, in my opinion, in getting to know a bigger part of the house. Um, it's where the parish comes to discover itself. And I think it inclines people to not only know more about the parish, but to have a, a deeper and more abiding attachment to the community. Really, we discover, I think, um, how alike we are, you know, in the vicissitudes of our life and um, our struggles to make sense with them. And man, you talk about a community builder. That's it, I think, whether you're a man or a woman. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. How are we doing on signups? We're just getting started. I see. And there will be brochures available in the, in the nave, on the table, on the way out. That'll start this weekend. Um, there's a QR code on the website. You can go directly to signups on the website. And you can call the church office. Um, and then there will also be uh, times where there'll be some of us from CHIRP in the nave after mass to talk to people who have questions and that kind of thing. When you say nave, you mean narthex. Don't I mean you? the narthex. I'm sorry. Yes, That's I'm okay. a convert. All those, so. all those church terms, you know, they're, they're kind of. <laughs> in this room, the narthex, yes. Okay. All right. Good deal. Um, Please let me know via pulpit announcements when a real life flesh and blood three dimensional representative is going to be out here to answer questions so I can direct people to you. Okay, we will definitely do that. All right, wonderful. Well, we want those signups to go, to go well. Typically the women have more uh, immediate success at it than the men. But I'm telling you guys, you can't do better in terms of an avuncular and uh, knowledgeable guy than John Rebele. So I know it's gonna be a good, a good group mm -hmm. for both men and women. Yes, this, is, this will be our 14th season for the women and the 13th season for the men. So it's really been a long lived process. Yes, and a wonderful process as far as getting to know other generations in the church as well. In our group, we have women in their 80s and women who are new mothers and single people. And we all have come to a greater understanding of the different stages of life. Yeah. yeah. And the same would be said for the men. We have a 23 year old and a 85 plus. So mm -hmm. we run the gamut as well. Great. All right. Well, I know the producer is probably running shy on time. So I guess we ought to sign off. Is there any other particular important thing you want to say about it? Okay, good. Thank you, Ricky and John, very, very much for being here today and talking about our upcoming Christ Renews His Parish Retreat. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask one of us because we live and breathe to answer them for you. See you next week. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.